I don't think you understand a world that you're talking you. about. Are you leaving? Take care. Whatever problem. you talk about. I'm going to go. A, no problem. A, a, Take care. Thank you for your time. You say it for sure. And Why you, shouting? Calm down. No need to shout. You are a lot of self-believing. Are you? And yes, unfortunately, my, my English is not as good yeah. as my... Shouting won't help that. Yeah. Calm, calm down. What's your religion first? Are you a Christian? I, I, I'm no, I'm a Jewish. Okay. In a Jewish, is a marriage valid between a Jew and a non-Jew? Yes. It is? Yeah. Is that uh, from the Torah? Or it, is that your own understanding? No. It's in the Torah, there is no, not even a clue about it. And I will explain why. Because in the Torah, there weren't Christians, there weren't Muslims. There were nothing because in the Torah. That's why as a Jews, I didn't ask the Jews. Christian Muslims. Okay. Okay. So, let, so once it's again, it's not from the Torah. <laughs> it's okay. from people that came after this, and some of them believe that they know what God think, and some of the people believe that these people know what God thinks. But it's not in the Torah, it's not in the religious, and even so... So it's man-made, the laws that you just it's mentioned? It's not a law. So, there is no man-made law, and it's not in the law. Furthermore... So are you saying all those Jewish who follow, who follow the rule that you can only marry a Jew, are no. they wrong? No. There is no law in Israel that say that you can marry a Jew, only a Jew. No, no, the question is, I'm talking about those Orthodox Jews who say that you can only marry another Orthodox Jew. Are they wrong? I think they do. But it's okay. their belief. I can't tell them what to do. Okay, so there are but Jews who, who have this belief, yes? There are where, where do you think they got it from? Hmm? Where do you think they got it from? They got it from uh, their uh, rabbis or from the orthodox uh, people who tell them, but it's not just, they can't marry me. Are you a believing Jew? I'm a believing Jew, but they can't. Do you follow the Torah? Not fully. Why? Because I don't think it's... Do you f so do you follow your own whims and desires? Your subjective, only. your subjective only, understanding. No. Okay, what other books besides the Torah do you believe in? I don't believe in books. I believe in people. I thought so. So you're not a believing Jew then, because hmm? you're following your own secular, liberal understanding, and not the law of God. Because the Torah actually means the law of God. You know that, right? The Torah not only means the law of God. What does it mean? Law of man? No. Yeah. The Torah, so whose law is it? The Torah. Uh, let's take something that. Brother, and whose law is the Torah? Is it the law of man or the law people, of God? People wrote it. The law, of, oh. the law of God, the law of God is the Ten Commandments. Now Other where, people extend it. Let's take the... Are you, are you saying the Torah is from not God? Is it, so Moses did not God. get the Torah from God? Moses can't get the Torah because the Torah is keep extending after the, to the Moses. Moses is not ending the Torah. Okay, so they changed the Torah. People change a lot of things, but let's the take the, something that is most important to Jews. Which is? Don't eat milk and meat together. Okay? Is that in the Torah? That's in the Torah, okay. but it's not written like this. What it's written is don't eat a lamb with his mother meat. No. Don't kill the birds and the eggs. So, some people... They misinterpreted. I don't know if they misinterpreted. Interrupted. I don't say. I just. Well, say, you're implying that clearly. You're saying God said this, but then they they, they translated no, it no, like no, that. No, no. I don't say God said this. Okay. The Torah said God said this. Mm -hmm. So now you. So can, now you're now you're 
you're casting doubt even on the written word of the Torah. I, I, I passed my mouth. You I did? Said, this is what is written in the Torah. Okay. Now other people took it and some of them say like this, some of them say like that, some of them uh, expand it like people say, okay, you can't eat milk six after six hours after you ate meat. So who, who, who said this? Say, when you say people say this, you're implying this is not from God, this is from people. Am I right? It's not from God. Okay. Of course it's not from so God. Other th I told you what written yeah. in the Torah. Other than the Ten Commandments, is anything in the Torah from God? Other than I the don't Ten know. What do you think? I think part of it, yes. I don't know. Okay. Have you read the Torah? Yeah, have you studied course. You studied it? I studied it, I read it. And you have come to the conclusion it is actually man-made? No. Is it I from said, God then? No, I don't know. Can't both I, know. I said I don't know. I can't be sure. I'm not like those th people who said God told me so, or I know what God knows. Okay, how do you distinguish? Or I know what God wants. Yeah, good. Sorry, what's your name? My name is Elon. Elon? Elon. Elon? Yes, okay. like an octave. Okay, no problems. Uh, my name is Hashim. Um, what I'm asking is that, how do you understand what part of the Torah is from God and what part is not? I don't know. So I, I, I don't try to think I can understand what God re was telling after so many people pass it from one to another. And there is a big, big rabbi who was one of the biggest in the Jewish history. Mm -hmm. And he said... Maimonet? Hmm? Maimonet? No. No? Okay. Rambam, he said, as is known? No. No? <laughs> a lot before him. And he said that the thing between a man and his friend is the most important rule in the Torah. So, if he said so, that the relation between people are the most important thing, hmm. and if all the rabbi agreed on one thing, one thing, all the rabbis from all the different uh, societies in what did the they agree? Jewish what did they agree? believe in one thing, which is? The Yom Kippur, which is the most important day in the Jewish belief, mm -hmm. is not come in, in the to uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but it will not solve things between a man and his friend. You can only, if you feast and you are uh, reading the Bible and do all the things, you only mend things between you and God. You can't mend things between you and your friend. To mend these things, you need to do something and ask forgiven from your friend. Yeah, we have the peace, same. We have the same peace, in Islam. Yeah. And uh, and prayer will not help you yeah. if you did not. So let me act correctly. Let me take you back to the discussion we were having with that uh, Christian couple. Are, according to you, are Jews allowed to marry non-Jews? According, not to me. Okay, according to the Torah. According to God. I don't know according to God. I can't speak from God because I don't know what God wants. So how how would you understand what, you, what, you, what God expects you of you in this life if you are saying every time I don't know? How do you lead I, your life? I, by yourself? I by know, your own whims and desires? I, I can understand that God wants me to be a good man, yeah. to, uh, to act as a civilian man, to... Uh, to follow the Ten Commandments, 
and if you don't follow basically be a good man if you don't follow the 10 commandments are you a bad man if you don't follow the 10 commandments you can get to be a bad man it's depend what you're doing no no you don't follow the 10 commandments are you a bad man it's depend what you're doing yeah i just told you not there, following there the 10 are, commandments there are degrees okay and then okay. i i will explain 10 commandments don't steal yeah you're a good man, you're helping people, you're donating, you, you're working for uh, the community, mm -hmm. but you're, you're stealing. not paying all your taxes. Don't pay your taxes. It's stealing. You're doing so, you know, so you're a little. So, are you a bad man? Yeah. You're doing a lot of good things, but you're scheming a little. Are you, you're doing some bad. Things are not black and white. You, you're not happen to be like a nightmare, like a Hitler, if you're stealing. There is kind of uh, loophole. It's not a loophole. <laughs> it's, it's. Are you allowed to? Are you allowed? Are you a good man if you don't pay your taxes? You can be a good man. Yeah, so you're stealing then. Then you're yes. stealing based on the Ten Commandments. You you're stealing, so you're not. So your own principle. You're, you're going against your own principle. I'm not scheming. No, I'm not saying you are. I'm saying if based someone, on your based on your logic, I, I, someone who doesn't follow the Ten Commandments is a bad man. No. But now you brought up an example of someone scheming from the no. government by not paying the taxes. You can be a good word, man. You putting word. It's on camera, brother. My mouth. No. It's on camera. I said, camera doesn't lie. I I, did, I said that if you ask me if you don't follow the Ten Commandments, are you a bad man? Yes. And I said, there are degrees. So there the, are, but you give an example of someone who is not paying the taxes to yes, the government. Yes, but he's doing a lot of... Doesn't good. matter, he's still stealing from the government. Yeah, but he's doing a lot of bad, good things, great things. So, I don't know, I don't think he's a bad man. He's not completely okay. good. So you're allowed, to, you're allowed to steal from the government? You're not allowed, but there are... Make up your mind. Someone who doesn't pay taxes, is he a good man or a bad man? He's bad at this thing. <laughs> you're fine. You, 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 you're going are, against your own principle. Do you realize degrees, that? There are degrees, my friend. I know there, there are, are degrees. degrees. Look, I'll give you an example of where Islam permits you to steal. I'll give you an example. For example, if there is a famine, yes? Somebody is going hungry. If he doesn't eat, he's going to die. In that case, you can steal and eat to sustain your life. Yes, yeah. you know, Omar radiallahu one of the caliphs, he actually um, stopped uh, the punishment for stealing in, in Islam, if you're convicted, is basically you cut the, cut the hand. Yes, yeah. obviously the rules have to be met. But during the famine, Omar radiallahu or one of the caliphs, if I remember, they stopped this punishment because of the desperate situation of the people. So in this case, it's, 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 it's a matter of life and death. But what you're talking about is avoiding tax paying which the reason the reason he has to is is uh, what he say he has to give taxes is because he's earning money more than the the amount permitted by the government you're saying he's okay as no, long as I it don't say so. it's okay i say there are degrees there are degrees okay so how much tax do you have to steal before you become a bad man it's not <laughs> it's not any there amount or there are scars of what you are doing if you are murders someone it's much worse exactly murder is a different and one of the commandments is do not murder i agree yeah. but we are talking about do not steal you give you give an exception in fact I, you said i didn't say you an said exception. it is said, there's a degree no. i said if someone yeah there are degrees. you can't by the way you can't have degrees of murder murder is wrong in any degree no yeah murder is <laughs> yes. wrong yeah there are no degrees. In what about, you know, the Ten Commandments doesn't mention rape. Is someone who's raping, is he a bad man? Of course he's a bad man. But it's not in it's the Ten Commandments. So what? So who made that rule? He's a bad man. <laughs> the By the way, in the Sharia, this is specifically mentioned. That someone who's a rapist will also be punished really harshly. Yes? So it is already wrong. But you're saying the only thing which stops you, the moral grounds you have, is your Ten Commandments. No, it's but now I give you an example which is outside the Ten Commandments. No. I said, you ask me, 
what I think between me and God, what yes. God told us. Yeah. I said, God gave us the Ten Commandments. Where in the, where in the Old Testament, which you believe in, does it say rape is, permi uh, is, is punishable? There isn't. So how do you say it's wrong then? Hmm? How do you know rape is wrong? First of all, is it based on the know, society? There, there is in the uh, in the Bible. There is there is a non and tamal, so there is a punishment. No, actually, yes, the, in the, the non and if, tamal, there is. If you a look at if you look at Deuteronomy, it says that those people that you have captured, the women, you are allowed to have sex with them without a marriage. No. Have you not read Deuteronomy? Hmm? Deuteronomy, the f one of the five books I, of the Torah. I, I read them. Well, I don't think you have. But anyway, look, if rape is not part of the Ten Commandments and there's nowhere in the Old Testament which says rape is wrong, then on what basis you're saying that makes him a bad man? And by the way, I'm not, I'm not condoning yeah, rape. I'll... I'm saying rape is wrong anytime in any society. Okay. But you're, if you're going I, based on your Bible have, only, then you don't no, have it. No, I'm, I'm not living by the Bible. You're not? You're not. I'm not living okay. by, by the Bible. I'm a free man. I believe in the So why Bible. do you keep saying the law of God? You said the law of God. Okay, so you don't believe in the law of God? I believe in some things. So you pick and choose what you want? No. I believe I believe in, 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 in the basic things. Things that got uh, very sensible. So it's... it's uh, How do you differentiate between what is permitted and not permitted if you're not following God's law? What is God's law? Who said he knows? The Ten Commandments, God? for example. So the Ten Commandments I'm following. Okay. If, but so, the, if the, something the, is not part of the Ten Commandments, then how do you understand whether it's wrong or right? I have a free will and free thought. So you make up as you go along. If it's not in the Ten Commandments, Okay, let me give you another example, which might not be in the Bible, which is from the modern society, and it's something which is legal, um, abortion. What's your view? I think that in most cases, almost in all cases, it's the woman's decision. Yeah. But Is it right or wrong? That's the question. Is it right or wrong? There is no right and wrong. Like What? There is all this time we were talking about right and wrong, no, all of a sudden you're I saying always, there's no right or wrong. I always told you, yes, that it's a lot of, not everything is black and white, there's a lot of gray. I think that the woman can make an abortion. So Absolutely. You, so you think it's right? I think it's right. Okay. But what, about, what happened to the law in the Bible, just, in the Ten Commandments, thou shalt not murder? Do you no, not think no, abortion no. is murder? No, you, you, as I said in the beginning, yeah. you're talking very um, broad. You, you, you're <laughs> talking with a lot of uh, self-confidence and everything, but you... Alhamdulillah, that's Islam, not me. Yeah, Islam no. gives us self-confidence. Yeah, self-confidence and everything, but you're wrong. In what way? In abortion? In abortion, yes. Okay, so let me ask you this. No, no, let's, me, let's you say said how you're wrong. Okay, how am I wrong? Though? Because in Hebrew... Yeah. There's no problem because life. What do you mean in Hebrew? In, you mean in, in, you in, mean in the Torah? In, in, in Judaism? In Judaism, there's not supposed to be a problem, a legal problem. Uh, uh, uh. Depends on which Jew no. I ask. No, <laughs> the life. The Orthodox Jews will no. not agree with you. The, yeah, they think, they believe, but life in the in in in, in uh, Jewish tradition start after the birth. In Catholic. They start with the after you have an embryo, but in Hebrew it's only after uh, the childbirth. Oh, I see. So you know the legal the legal uh, period when you're allowed to have have abortion in this country. It's uh, in England. I don't know. It's 24 weeks. Okay. After that, it becomes illegal, unless there is exceptional reason where the life of the mother is. In danger. There is a re there so you're saying, you're saying, even when she's like eight months pregnant, you're allowed abortion because according to you, the no. life doesn't start until after giving birth. Uh, uh, maybe you didn't understood my English. I just your English is quite good. The fact that you say what no, fact? 
Which prank did I say that you which, corrected? Which in Hebrew, in Judaism, it's not allowed. No, in Judaism, it's allowed because the birth is after. No, abortion is... You're repeating that same thing, which I just told you. Abortion is very, very complicated. Very complicated thing. Are you allowed abortion or not? Just I'm tell me that. I'm allowing, but... Are there conditions it, for abortion? The, yes. There what, are are the, conditions. what are the conditions? Two conditions. Yeah, go on. First, that the social worker will talk with the woman. Okay. Will explain her because some woman after that have a problem. I don't think he will try to uh, deny her or try. So to it's just advice. It. It's just an advice. An advisor. Okay. That's what is the other condition. The other conditions, the doctor will examine because it's a very. Um, Let's say the doctor says okay, the advisor says it's up to the, you. The, the, the advisor, the advisor. No, no, hear me out. Let's say the advisor says these, these from, are the these are the every, pros and cons. It's up to you now what you decide. The doctor says it's okay for you to abort. Then it's okay. Yes, yeah, sure. Neither of that is from God, right? Neither of that is from God. No. Good. So I, you're. I, I never heard. So you, as a Jew, are living a life not based on Judaism, but based on liberal secular society, just like the Christians, I, many Christians, I, and many, uh, what do you say, even atheists who just follow a life. So what is the, what is the point in believing in God then? Why do you not just, become? Just, why don't you become an atheist? Just a minute. Yeah. You did. You never show me what that God said otherwise. That no, no. I actually agreed with you that it is not specifically mentioned in the Torah. Yeah. But this principle can be applied. Thou shall not murder. No. Thou shall not kill. No. No? No. Is killing a baby in the no. womb not, a, in, in, not killing? In, in the Torah, a baby is alive just after his, the birth. Where does it say that in the Torah? I don't know. I think you made it up. No. It's not there. No, no. There you, you made it up. No, no. <laughs> and and, and, and to Judaism, okay. the child is... If you guys so find any such reference from the Torah, where it says the in life Judaism, in Judaism starts only after the mother gives birth to the child. You can if you can find a reference rabbi. for that, you whether you're a Jew or not Jew. Rabbi. No, that's fine. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I've not come across it. But if it is not in the Torah, then what do you say? Then you say, you, say, made, then you, say you made it up, right? No. If it's <laughs> not in the Torah yeah. completely, yeah. Yeah, then, and it's not in... in, in uh, what we call um, the, uh, uh, the speaking Torah. The speaking Torah? Yeah, the... The, the Midrash. The, the what the Midrash Torah teaches. That we, we, the spoken Torah. Okay. Uh, if it's not there, other thing is not there too. You see? Okay, let's say, so let's say it's in... It depends on yeah. you. Okay. To, 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 to think and... Uh, and uh... Alright, you know, because this is a matter of life and death. It is a life and death of a child. It's very important. Yeah. So we, in such matters, it is only what God tells us but, but, as but. what is constitu what constitutes as legal prohibited. Sorry, legal or prohibited. Then you can't just make up your life when it's a matter of life and death. Yes. It's quite a serious thing. Yes, but God never said something Are you, about it. You know, as a human being, yeah. would you, let's say, forget, forget religion for a minute, just from okay. a human perspective. Have you ever seen an abortion taking place? Uh, basically, in the... I, I don't mean the live. I don't mean live in, 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 the, in an operating theater. I meant even, even on a YouTube video, for example. Have you yes. seen it? Yeah, yeah. I know the procedure very well. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor, but I'm, I'm working in the field. Oh, interesting. So how do they do it? Just, just give a brief explanation. It depends on the, uh, on the matters, on the yeah. situation. On the Let's age. say they are 24 weeks pregnant. How would you? How, how do you think they about it? They need to take out the baby. Most of the time, they. What do you mean, take out the baby? How will they take out the baby? They taking out the baby. They used to do it with. Um, with tools. With tools. Okay. Take it out. Do they do they break it limb by limb sometimes? Yeah. They do. They used. They Can used you imagine to... a baby? 
having a body, having hands, a head, a heart which is beating, and they're tearing it apart limb by limb. How can you as a human being think that is okay? Because there is a severe thing and I don't think that, I think that the woman can uh, control her body. And no, no, it's not her body. This is the baby's body. No, it's not. Why does the woman have the right over somebody's life, even though she might be the mother? You know, when, when you were pregnant, sorry, not you, sorry. When your mom was pregnant with you, yes? I'm sure before you were even 24 weeks, when she knew you, uh, you were in her womb, she called you my baby. Yeah. Why do you think that is? What, what do you mean why? It's very... You said a baby is only... Well, you, you, in Judaism, you consider a baby only when it's born. No, you consider it as life that only was, when it's born. That was a, a, a religious uh, argument. I see. Yeah. You, say, you said what the religious... What was. do you think? You think it's a baby before it's born or it's not? I think that he's a baby before he's born. Okay, so you're better than your religion, I would say. You're more merciful than your religion. I don't know. Because your religion gives only the label of life after it's born. Yeah. But you, from a human perspective, and I think you're a good person who believes life should be treated as life and life should have respect. Yes? Even though you're giving the mother the respect of being a human being, you are taking away that right from that unborn baby by saying it's okay for, for the mother to terminate the life of the yeah. baby, a potential yeah, because life. because it's, it's a potential life, it's not a life uh, at the age 24. When, when you call it a baby, when your mother calls it a baby, or, when, or the mother calls it a baby, I think that is life. Okay, that's your belief, I don't it's, say you won't. It, it's, got a heart, it's got a heart that is beating, it's I'm, got the limbs, it's got the head, it's got the eyes, it's got everything. It's not got everything. It's only the size that is different. It's not got everything, it's not have thoughts, it don't have uh, the, um, the difference in the brain. It's, believe me, I saw a lot of pictures yeah. of uh, babies in all ages. This is part of what I'm doing. I think it's, it's the and, way they terminate it, which is inhuman. It is like chopping off an animal. Maybe. Are you a vegetarian, by the way? No. You eat meat? Yes. Okay, good. So, you know, it's, it's for a person who, who is not a vegetarian, eats meat, yes, you might not consider the life of an animal to be same value as a, as a human being. Yes. But as a human who is kind, merciful, and loving, you see all life as sacred. You see all life worthy of respect. Yes. including that of animals yeah. okay the only difference here is that you don't value them the same as a human being no yes because you wouldn't murder which is clear isn't it you you mentioned it at the very beginning and i agree with you this murder is wrong because it's one human and against another but i personally do not see a difference in a mother or a doctor agreeing to abort a baby yes they might not have the thoughts like you they might not have uh, the cognition level as you but the fact that it has like the physiology of a human being it's got a heart that is beating it's got lungs which are functioning yes that doesn't devalue it as a human i, I don't say anything against your belief it's not belief i'm talking about as a human from humanity i, I did not i said leave no. religion aside for now oh, no I, it's what you believe is a human. I don't think you're wrong. I don't say, I don't condemn people who are against abortion. No, no, it's not about condemnation of pro-life or pro-choice. It's, it's the fact to do with a child who is defenseless and to kill it in cold blood. That is what I'm asking you. As a human being, do you not see that as wrong? I don't see it as wrong. I think that first of all, it's the woman choice, and second, what to take the lot, life of another life? Yeah, and a lot of, in a lot of cases, yeah, uh, the abortions are um, from a medical. Uh, uh, 
perspective. What do you most mean medical? You think me there's a medical reason behind it? Yeah. No, well, I think most of the abortions is because in of Israel, unplanned pregnancy. Come no. on. In, in Israel, yeah. most of the abortions are from, uh, especially in 24 week. In 24 week, in Israel, you will not get uh, a permission to make an abortion unless it's a very severe thing. Okay, so you're saying the doctors will not permit abortion unless there is a matter of life and death? Not just matter of life and death. Or some complication? Complications. Okay. At the, the age so of you're... 24, because remember my friend that yeah. in the age of 24, there's a lot of... Um, there's a lot of problems and a lot of uh, consideration about the woman's health. It's a... Okay, yeah. we're going to wrap it up. So look, if it's a medical situation, are you saying that in Israel, in the hospitals, they will not allow them to abort if it's, grounds, 20... if it's, if it's grounds other than medical reason? It's need a very... Um, when, until what uh, period do they allow abortion? I think, I'm not sure, and I won't, don't want to... No, no, that's fine. I mean, roughly, give me a rough idea. I think that in the... Um, till the 18 uh, okay. week or 18 maybe... Weeks. So less than the 24, weeks. that's fine. But they do allow early, right? They allow early abortion. Earlier, they allow. Okay, no problem. And they use it, with, and usually they do it with pills. With? Pills. Pills. Okay, it, uh, you're still dissolving the child. Yes. <laughs> so that's, that's worse, that's like a chemical dissolving. Yeah. Uh, all right, look, I don't think we're, we're going to agree here because you've already made up your mind. All I'm asking is, as a human being, I personally would not consider killing anyone in the womb or outside the womb if it's a life, then it's a life, you know? I, I understand you and I yeah. I can't even say I'm not agreeing with you. Yeah. Because I understand your point and I respect your point. Yeah. I think otherwise. All right, That's no all. problem. What, what was your name again? Alone. Alone. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. You take care. Thank you.